Hello there and welcome to a new video. In this one, I'm going to be doing a super concise overview of Red Dot, the main fork of Godot. Because indeed there is a lot going on currently with Red Dot, so because of so much information out there, it may feel a little bit overwhelming. So as a lot of people actually has a lot of questions about the project, just uh, some days ago they posted uh, this Twitter um, clarifying mostly every single point of the engine. So basically Red Dot is a fork of Godot. So basically what this means is that uh, Red Dot is basically just a copy and paste of the source code of Godot, okay? So um, as Godot is open source, if you go to the GitHub and here you press on fork here on this arrow, you can basically create a new fork. So for example, over here, I will just create a fork on my personal uh, GitHub account. And in just a couple of seconds, now I have my own, let's say, copy of Godot and I can do literally whatever I want and I can commit or basically add new things if I want it. According to the creators, the main aim of this project is to manage Red Dot in a more community-driven approach and uh, to basically avoid some ideological or develop other developmental differences with the Godot project. Some people say that the Godot drama is just something that existed in Twitter and some people maybe couldn't understand it or that some people actually misunderstood it or that, in fact, Godot wasn't directly mixing up things with politics. But well, of course, for others, Godot wasn't still mixing up politics, uh, ideas, etc. with game development. So with Red Dot, this is meant not to happen. The features until right now are the exact same one as Godot. They meant to include the community a little bit more into the decisions in terms of the development of the engine because sometimes users were asking for some specific fe feature for some specific bug fix and without for some reason wouldn't merge that PR or pull request into the project. But well, Red Dot will try to listen to the community a little bit more and hopefully release the features and bug fixes that we want. The license is going to be the exact same one as Godot. Recently, just a couple of days ago, Red Dot 4.4 Beta was officially released. We have actually checked it out uh, in, a, in a super recent video in the channel. But well, the only thing that was done over there was a rebranding. Basically, they put there uh, the Red Dot icon instead of the Godot icon. And they have updated the color theme of the editor from blue to red. There's also been a lot of community interaction through GitHub, Discord, and some forums. So for example, here it is the uh, official Discord server. Um, and if we go to the server guide, for example, we'll see the number of members that it has. It has over 10k members, so indeed it is a lot. In their X account, they have more than 20k followers. And quite surprising, in their YouTube channel, even though they have literally no content over here, they have 3k of subscribers um so of course something that you may think is about, okay this project may have no actual built in behind no uh, money behind literally no nothing behind but well what it does have that maybe for some it could be even more valuable than money team and other resources is the fact that it has people's trust okay so people or at least a a vast majority of people do believe in this project so they do want to contribute to the project or they do want to use Red Dot as their uh, game engine instead of Godot. So well, at least it is indeed having a lot of support. And then they basically, once again, quite uh, related to one of the previous points, uh, they are going to be managing everything, let's say quite differently as uh, how Godot has been doing things in terms of community management. So probably, and, and well, of course, they are not going to be talking about politics or anything like that. Um, so for me, this is just a restatement of what they said above. It's quite similar. And well, I also want to read this final sentence because it is quite uh, insightful. Red Dot Engine therefore represents an alternative for developers who might prefer its community model or specific future development focus while still benefiting from the shared heritage of Godot's extensive development work. 
12. Yes, uh, until right now, it is the exact same thing with different colors, different logo. But the difference is that it has a different community behind, or well, a different team behind, different managers behind, that maybe um, do not make the errors that probably the Go.CM made a couple of weeks ago. Also, to show how they are building the new community, and also a quite big community, they are going to be organizing a game jam, so right now they are voting their, their, uh, their theme, that uh, this voting is happening currently here on their Discord server over here. And the following thing that I want to talk about this, now that you do know all the basis about Redot, is how they are, how things are going in the, in the last hours, okay? So for example, on October 15th, okay, just two days ago, they released the, um, this web page, okay? And also had the, the brand kit, which basically well contains like uh, these logos, icons for content creators and that kind of thing. So that's also something that me as a content creator really appreciate. Um, because also they know that this is quite promoting social media. Uh, so this, this is something that they really benefit from. Um, so here they have launched officially their web page. So we're going to be visiting it. Oh, well, it is quite stylish, okay? It is quite amazing. Um, of course, it's a, uh, as far as I have read here, it has been completely made uh, by, by the community, so uh, by volunteers, we could probably call them. So it is quite amazing the, the work that they have done in a matter of just a few days, a few weeks, because the website, even though it is quite simple, uh, it is all that we need until now, I believe. Um, so we have a, a download button over here that will basically... Uh, give us here the github releases page and well here we have in the assets well all the versions that we can download once again i am not digging any deep into the uh, red attention itself because i have already checked that on the channel uh, in a video a couple uh, just some days ago um so from here we can see the amount of stars that they got more than 4k over 10k of members on discord 20k followers on uh, twitter or x and over uh, 700, mostly 800 members on Reddit, okay? Um, so they have here a recent news that we're going to be talking about a second. They also have here the uh, documentation, okay? Um, that's well, of course, until now, it is mostly the exact same thing um, as Godot because the engines are quite similar. Once again, the only change is the, are the colors and, and the logo, but well, uh, when both projects uh, start to be developed, well, actually, when they are continued to be developed, maybe there are some uh, tiny differences between Redot and Godot. So basically, here we have a welcome uh, to, to the site. Um, and here also, this title quite caught my attention, and then the, there were many, because I think that there was also a book call, and then there were none, a quite a known book. I don't really remember the author, but well, I think that it is doing a reference uh, to that. And basically here they are uh, once again talking a little bit about the 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 history of of Redot and what they have done lastly what they have achieved um in just a couple of uh, days a couple of weeks so you can also uh, read that oh well even more things that you are able to read and here and here well Redot features until now it is the exact same thing or quite similar uh to what we have um in Godot because well the engines are the exact same ones until now um, so well, that's literally all that we have, and also um, we can help here uh, improve uh, Redot by basically contributing to the engine. So right now they are not say uh, they are not accepting any kind of donation. Now here is a video with even more information about Redot about when we were actually using the engine. Um, so you can check this out, and also here we have comments from the official channel of Redot with even more information about this. And all the future of Red Dot about parity between Godot and Red Dot, they will basically, at least at the beginning, try to keep parity as much as possible with Godot. But well, that then in the future, we're going to see, okay? Maybe uh, they take completely different path and Red Dot adds ABC and Godot add XYZ. We have to wait, okay? So don't, don't feel anxious and we just have to sit back and wait until everything rolls a little bit more because of course uh, Godot, okay, not Redot, hasn't been talking uh, about this for a long while, okay? Uh, so the last thing we have here pinned is, uh, well, this uh, post 
and the last post is in October 3, so over 15 days ago with this dev snapshot. Uh, so we don't really have much things going on with Godot right now. Um, so that's also important how Godot is going to react, okay, probably in a couple of days. Um, so yes, my recommendation is not to get pretty anxious about the situation and just, well, sit back, do the choice that you feel the most comfortable with, and from there, um, just wait and see what ends up happening.